or proximate as possible to where the people are. In this case, we are mandated to ensure that all the sub-counties have courts. So to roll out this, we require resources. Just as my sister has mentioned, we require some support on funding. Uh, as of now, not just for the construction, but also the, currently the judicial officers are working about 17 hours a day to try to clear the backlog. We've been through all the courts and we've seen the amount of work that they are dedicated to do. There is a lot of peer review within the judiciary and they are ensuring that all these issues which we are going to com continue to complain about are actually being addressed. We found courts that are doing up to 200%, meaning they are finishing the work they have and they are trying to clear past, uh, past uh, backlog. So we are urging Kenyans to also consider maybe the judiciary normally don't talk a lot because they just do their work. But there is plenty they are doing towards solving issues that we normally have. So we are urging for continuous support uh, to the judiciary to continue to provide justice. And like you've heard, we are rolling out other issues, including the alternative justice systems, so that little issues can be handled as close to where the people are and reduce their expenses so that we spend more time in more productive work. Is the need to have our own court. You will recall that in Kericho, the current court which is occupied by the judiciary corner C is actually a facility that is being rented. We do not have uh, a substantial court in Kericho. We have explored and as a county government, we have expressed our willingness to offer space and land to build a modern court in Kericho County. Uh, in the headquarters, the county headquarters court. We have also discussed the need of expanding these courts to the sub-counties. And I'm glad to report to you today that in our discussions we have agreed that in so short we're also going to have a mobile court in so short. And uh, at Sikowit we're also equally going to have another court. At Kapkatet we are going to have another court. And at Kipkelion where already there was a distant land for the building of a new court, we're also going to have a court. We have, I have directed my CC for lands and the county attorney to be able to facilitate space and, uh, and uh, documentations to enable the judiciary to be able to build a court at Kipkelia. You know, as we speak today, that uh, whenever we have offenders and whenever we have issues of litigations from those sides of Kipkelia, most of our people has been going to Molo to seek for services. Out of this concern, as we move forward then, we'll be working very closely with the judiciary to ensure that we have a functional court at Kipkelia. And while at the same time, every other sub-county will look forward to be able to have a court. At Camp Katet, we have uh, already a court that was being used by the, by the, by the, by the, by the, by the African courts, that is next to the social hall, where we have an ICT center for the county government. We are also going to utilize that, uh, that particular space to enable that the courts will also operate from there. We have discussed repeatedly also on alternative uh, justice resolution, which will also be able to ease the backlog of cases within the judiciary, so that those cases that can be resolved within our villages and our homes uh, by people that have been trained competently, and uh, 